ladies and gentlemen, I cannot believe it, man. Everybody's bricked up right now in the Call of Duty community. Suckers are shaking. Suckers are doing helicopters right now. It's It feels like that this is the first time ever. I mean, nah, it's not the first time ever. Every year we have a Call of Duty game. Suckers are always excited. But this time it feels different, right? And I really hope the game turns out to be good for the first time in like, what, five, six years maybe? Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Dislike the video if you don't want a good game. But let me actually show you guys what happened so there's a video that i want to talk about right because apparently but uh, the devs came out they started talking about zombies gameplay details multiplayer gameplay details the campaign details as well and they also revealed a bunch of other stuff the first thing they revealed which has everybody shaking right now is that call of duty black Ops 6 beta dates confirmed and the early access for pre-orders the early access is for pre-orders right remember folks don't pre-order but okay if you want to i mean be my guest i guess uh early access for pre-orders all platforms which is gonna be through august 30th september the 4th and open beta that's gonna be for everybody okay all the peasants included all the toxic gamers included okay uh that is a uh, friendly bbc online not talking about the friendly bbc here guys but even blame truth included okay yeah <laughs> I, I cannot believe it. So on the open beta date, even Blame Truth can try the game mode. Crazy stuff, man. This is the most craziest stuff here. And you're probably like, yeah, okay, so beta date. Why are people excited? Yeah, it's just a beta, right? Guys, they have ended segregation. Oh, shit. There is no segregation. Xbox has ended segregation. And the game is going to be coming out on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, same day, same time. Yeah. For the first time ever, for the first time ever, and uh, let's actually get right into it. Roll it. Is it for you guys? The first thing that they mentioned is they talked about the Black Ops 6 campaign. That one was pretty straightforward. They just really mentioned the timing of the storyline, so it takes place after the Cold War era. Frank Woods is out of commission. There is a new main protagonist, which is going to be Marshall, and they also mentioned that that also includes the 80s and the early era of Black Ops 2, where Hudson and Mason died. So they did confirm that Dang. they are dead. They don't really showcase any. That, yeah, that's crazy, right? Because in Black Ops 2, we had a non-canon ending and a canon ending, and looks like that he died man that that's crazy even hudson died but i want to also talk about this one uh and uh shout out to the homie tridzo for sure to Check showcase this. but the next new feature that they talked about was the black ops 6 assisted intelligent movement this is completely different than omnidirectional movement unlike that you can actually change and adjust these settings to either turn them on or off depending on your play style so what this does is it's basically like having auto sprint on you turn the setting on and it'll automatically sprint for you you just have to put up on the analog stick and you'll automatically start sprinting it's the same thing but it's going to be with mantling with climbing oh. with sliding and those types of features they already tease and showcase during the direct they mentioned that this is one of these features that is definitely going to depend upon the player and their play style so some people will have all the settings on some people may not want to automatically mantle and would like to head glitch w wrl what we're thinking i guess it's gonna uh, you know what like it's gonna help people not burn calories i guess right like it's gonna help people out with the with the, with the, with the, with the calorie stuff and all that you know what i'm saying but holy crap this is <laughs> this is gonna increase the sweat even more man this is gonna increase the sweat in the game even more especially with the uh, omnidirection movement right where you can like run like backwards like that and you can like pow son you can do that too right yo this is gonna be crazy bro it's gonna be a crazy ass game you can run like sideways you can go back and forth as well sideways as well right like crazy man or you know stay at a ledge or a little hiding point and they don't want to automatically climb over that so that's fine there's also a delays that they plan on introducing which will give the intelligent movement a one second delay for example if you reach a head glitch point or an area that you can mantle but you don't want to mantle you can set this one second delay so you can push up towards uh -huh. it and for that second you'll get as close as possible but you won't mantle and then if you keep holding it after that you will end up climbing over so that way you don't automatically climb over and then get yourself killed the next feature for multiplayer that is back is going to be the original score streak feature that we had in black ops 2 what this means is that you would get assists for destroying uavs destroying equipment eliminating other players so it's not the kill streak where you have to get these kills in order to get these score streaks they also mentioned uh, that they I, I saw something about the score streaks earlier which had a lot of people baffled and a lot of people mad so omni yeah this is from oh, officially from them from omni movement in black of six cannot be okay omni movement in black of six cannot be toggled off which means that uh you cannot uh you you have to either run or not run okay same like that, okay? I think there will be tax sprint, but I'm not sure about that. But Omni movement is like going, uh, running backwards and go, running sideways too. You cannot stop that. But there, yeah, this one, this is the one that I wanted to talk about, guys. Clench your butt cheeks for this one, guys. Faster your seat belts. I know a bunch of you guys would be looking, looking like this real quick. I mean, uh, probably be like not like this but you guys would definitely be looking like this okay because apparently the the uh one of the dev came out says the black ops 6 multiplayer will not allow players to loop score streaks 
Yeah. Black Ops 6 features traditional score six uh, score streak system with the uh, with streaks resetting after every uh, every life unlike Cold War. So a lot of people are now talking about it because like Sigas do love uh, looping score streaks, right? So what does that mean, right? Can hardly call a, a score streak system without loopable streaks a traditional score streak system. To be quite honest, every single version of score streaks pre Cold War let the user loop score streaks by getting kills and staying alive, right? Now what this means is that essentially put like if you if you got UAV once that's it okay you you cannot get uav again unless you die so you get uav let's just say k9 unit or whatever screw streak we have like ac1 enemy ac130 above if you have enemy ac130 you can only get the ac130 once per life you have to die in order to get that again it's not gonna loop essentially because uh, and, and in the past games this wasn't even a problem you got the ac130 once or oh, and, and you're staying alive and you got kills you can get the ac130 for the second time for the third time while staying alive but now they're not doing any of that which is yeah so a lot of people are finding this to be an l let me know where you guys at man that guy on the left has a nice mustache the modern war zone is like love is love man so he's appreciating the mustache but check this they don't have them looping that's something that they thought about but they don't want the kill streaks to loop because then people will keep spamming the same kill streaks over and over again and they right. sort of want to avoid that they didn't yeah. mention if the score streaks would stack or not and this will reset your score streaks upon death so it's not going to play out like it did in cold war and then they also talked about the dedicated melee slot so every single player will have a dedicated melee that they can put on this could be a knife a baseball bat they said there's going to be an assortment of them available at launch there's going to be a couple during the beta and you're going to get to test it out for yourself they also uh -huh. mentioned that they don't want players just running around and being annoying with the melee weapon so they are two them and balancing them right so they're probably uh, good, good luck with that bro good luck with that I, I i mean i'd rather see people running around than actually camping bro what are we talking about bro i rather see people running in the game than just camping which one would you pick okay one for running two for camping one for running two for camping one for running two for camping i want to know where you guys have it not going to be automatic one hits maybe to the back they are but in the front you'll need to hit them a couple of times those are like some of the ways that i think that they're probably going to balance them there might be a cooldown for how often you can pull it out i'm not entirely sure they didn't mention the details and specifics on how they're going to balance them they just mentioned that they are going to be balanced and not overpowered now before we talk about the actual beta itself they did mention zombies and these are the details they gave us for zombies so first off they are going to be completely round based maps there's going to be two available on the first day of black ops 6 so during the launch and the first one is going to be liberty falls which is going to be set in west virginia we did talk about it when we talked about the maps that are going to be coming in I, I still feel like that we should have got like at least three minimum four would be the ideal but three minimum but okay i, I hope it's like a transit like system where the map is big but they also have like cut off sections like the town you know what i mean right how many of you guys played black ops 2 zombies if you have you know we we could have you could have chose to play on the entire transit transit map or you could have chose to play on like smaller sections like bus depot diner uh, and especially the the fan favorite bus town right survival on town you could have started from round zero 5, 10, or even 20. Uh, I would definitely, and of course, in Black Ops 4, they brought a system. Uh, the idea was very good, but if yeah black ops 4 kind of fell short because the the people were anticipating the game would be a better version of black ops 3 and when it was not it kind of died right but uh, com in comparison to whatever crap that we get in comparison to modern warfare 3 zombies call of duty van garbage zombies black ops 4 zombies is just way better right like in, in comparison but in comparison to black ops 3 it was not but it had a system which i i don't remember the name but uh, off it or from the top of my head but apparently you could have started the game from around 5 10 15 20 25 uh, i believe the max was 50 you could have started the game from 50 you could have gave yourself points as well and that's another thing right like in black ops 4 they killed the idea of points because in the past in zombies if you line up zombies real good and you shoot one zombies you're you're gonna get that like you're not gonna just get 10 points per one hit you can get like 60 because you shot one zombie and it went through the zombie and it hit six other zombies so the point system was amazing in the past call of duty zombies games uh, in treyarch zombies but the fix was what was not broken i really hope they bring back the the good uh, old point system like the video if you actually agree guys uh, if, if you know you know man like that yeah if you don't know i guess you don't know but if you know you know if you know you know if you know you know there was already a couple of versions i guess the multiplayer version of this map was already shown a couple times during the direct which is like the big superstore the movie shop and like the little dvd rental area so this is going to be where these zombies is going to take place they're probably going to be reusing these buildings adjusting them accordingly and changing them up but that's the first map the second one 
Ho hopefully nighttime. Hopefully nighttime. I'm tired of daytime maps, actually. It's gonna be called Terminus. That's good. the island that they actually showed a little bit of gameplay footage of when they introduced these zombies during the direct. So this footage that you're seeing right here is the yeah. Terminus Island being showcased. And they mentioned that storyline base, they're gonna be taking place during the same exact time. And they mentioned it's something that you'll understand when you actually get to play both of the maps. You'll see the similarities and how the storylines, I guess, collaborate and string together. Anyways, the okay. next thing that they ended up talking about in the podcast was the Black Ops 6 beta. So they have officially given us and confirmed the Black Ops 6 beta date. So first we start off with COD Next. That's gonna be taking place on August 28th, which falls on a Wednesday. That's around like eight or 9 a.m. And then they go live throughout the entire day. You get to watch mm. creators play. You get to see all the gameplay multiplayer reveal trailer, the footage, a little bit of zombies, a little bit of Warzone. They did talk about how they were gonna showcase Warzone and zombies live footage during COD Next, but that's gonna be taking place on that Wednesday and then the weekend following that. So we originally thought it was gonna start the same day, but according to those uh, leaks and rumors, those are actually false. It actually will go live on August 30th and that will begin for the pre-order. So if you pre-order the game or you have a existing membership with the Xbox Game Pass that makes you eligible to play this. Okay, we got some gameplay details as well. Let me skip to that because that, that's the part that we covered in the very beginning of the video, right? Let's see. Maybe we'll, we'll get another opportunity at it. But in terms of the content, you can expect three to four beta multiplayer maps. During the podcast, it didn't tell us exactly what maps they were going to be. They just mentioned that a couple of the maps were their absolute favorites out of all 16 that are going to be available at launch. So you can expect that there's going to be some pretty good ones. And then for the modes, you can expect TDM, Domination, the core regular standard modes that we've always seen with every beta. They may introduce something like a gunfight 2v2 or some sort of a face off uh -huh. for the strike maps just so you can test those out. And then everything else that I've talked about in the video, the omnidirectional movement, the movement assist. And in terms of level, they may oh, let you go all the way up until level 55 and then cut it off there before you're able to prestige. And then as you know, with levels, that means that there's going to be some sort of beta rewards involved and they will extend from weekend one, starting off with the first set. There's probably going to be like a level cap of 30 or something like that for the first weekend. And then when weekend two opens up, they will open up the level and increase it to 55. And then there will be other additional rewards that you'll be able to claim continuously as you level up. All right, not bad, not bad. Uh, a lot of people shaking right now. Let me know your thoughts and guys check out this video on the screen because we got new update on the doctor disrespect story check out this video on the screen if you already seen it then check out the video on the left i made that for the youth man uh today's youth can definitely learn some lessons from the video on the left all right let's check it out and i'll see you right